everyone, I'm Rachel Houlihan and these are my girls. <laughs> As you can see, they're getting very excited for Christmas and we just got even more books uh, in the mail just the other day. We're going to share some of these books with you now um, and let you know which ones are some of our favorites. The first one, we got these for little brother who's not here right now because he's a little grouchy today. We got um, these penguin books, Little Red Penguin, and these are actually brand new. They just came out about a month or two ago. Uh, and they're super fun little number color books. We've got a few of them actually. They are also Lift the Flap. They're very sturdy. I was a little worried about Lift the Flap for a baby, but he loves these. So on each page, there's, you know, for the number one, it's just gonna count up and show. There's two little dots so you can count it and then you can see what it is. So very cute. These are the number ones and then there's a color one and there's actually two more shapes. Voila, like Piggy that. Piggy pink. Piggy pink. I these are the little red ones. penguins. You love these ones? Next, we have the That's Not My series. Um, this is one of the most well-known yeah. books in from us born. Like that one. You like this one? These are a touch and feel book. We have over 30 different titles in these. There's ones for boys, ones for girls, um, lots of gender neutral, lots of animals. So like this one, That's Not My Lamb. Um, that's Not My Lamb, it's hooves are too bumpy. And then you feel them? And then you feel them, right. Yeah. Sounds and really sad. some of them I've had since this one was a baby and now Six years later, my one-year-old is still reading them, so they're very sturdy and they last a super long time. These are great books. This is one of our all-time favorites, All Better. Love you love this one. So we have these reusable band-aids, and you go through, and it's just these animals, they get hurt. And so you say, ouch, clean it. And when we do, clean it, kiss it, give it a kiss, put a bandage on it. Oh, I got that. There you go. And then you move on to the next one. This one is one of our favorites and even my one year old can go through and he gives the big wet baby kiss and then he can actually start putting the band-aids on all by himself now on the right spot. These are super fun and if these reusable stickers get dirty you just simply rinse them off with water and they're ready to use again. So these are great. Is this a good one? Yeah. Yeah. Good one for and Christmas present. Next we have Jonathan James and the What If Monster. And here is the What If Monster right here. And this one is really, really a fun, cute little story. Just about a little boy and he's got this sweet little What If Monster, but he's always saying, what if, what if, what if you can't get to the top of the tree? Or what if you can't um, win first place? You know. And so then halfway through the book, Jonathan James looks at the monster and says, but what if you're wrong? And then he goes through all those scenarios again. And what if he does win first place? Or what if he meets his very best friend because he took a chance? So really sweet story. Um, also very good for kids that might suffer, you know, struggle with anxiety, that sort of thing. So we and love this one. Fun. And you get to do stuff. You get but, to do stuff? Yeah. Like squeeze the what if monster? Yeah. So this is kind of just a cute combo for a Christmas present because you can actually get the plush doll to go with it and he is very super soft. Super. <laughs> and then we have Bob is a unicorn. Bob! There's Bob. So this one is about an elephant with a very big imagination. And he does. He has, you know, he's going to all his friends, asking them to play, and they can't guess what he is because they just don't want to play along. And by the end, he finds a friend um, who is willing to play with him, and she's also pretending to be a beautiful fairy. And it's really just a little girl and an elephant with a paper towel roll on his head. But another Bob. great Christmas present. Um, because again, you it's can get the super plush to go duper great. And it's my favorite. We have just a few fun stories. We're just going to do a lot of picture books in this one too because we are talking about great Christmas presents. Pelly and Mr. Harrison Visit the Moon. Awesome book where this little girl and her dog are in the bathroom brushing teeth and they look over the bathtub and there is a rocket ship attached to the bathtub and they literally go to the moon and they find a little alien that looks just like Pelly. They have smoons instead of s'mores and there's moon pies and all kinds of fun things like that and then she goes back home and goes to bed and then she's on the moon and she's walking around and there's the other alien's mom making moon pies fun super, super i love fun. this one you do and i love you <laughs> 
This one has two parts to it, A Tale of Two Beasts. This is a really cute story just about how there are different perspectives or two sides to every story. So first, this little girl finds this beast and she just wants to take him home and put clothes on him and feed him and put him in a little box and make him a little home and how much she loves this little beast and then he runs away. But then the second part is from the beast perspective and he keeps calling the girl a beast. You know, she wrapped me up in these you know ropes and really it was the clothes she was trying to dress him in and she stuffed me in this box and how to him she was the beast and so it's and it, it ends really happy but it's just a really cute one about how there are two sides to every story one two right yeah. okay Why I love gum? put the gum back in this one is <laughs> This one is Jessica's box. This is one of our favorites too. They're all our favorite. But this is about a little girl and she's just nervous about starting school and is she gonna make any friends? So she goes every day with this box and she puts something different inside of it um, to show her friends and to hopefully make new friends. And one day she's really sad and she's talking to her dad and she goes back to school and she kinda just wants to hide. And so she puts the box on her head and a little boy runs up and starts playing hide and go seek with her and she made a friend and at the end her grandpa says at dinner you know there must have been something pretty special in that box today and then she says yeah there was because it was who her. her her she was the special one she just had to be herself right yeah next we've got sticker books we have so many sticker books to show you guys so i just picked two we have a ton of the dolly dressing books so obviously really good for um We've got ballerinas, we've got fashion designer, we've got all kinds of um, really good is, ones like that. This is for mom and dad. That's for mom and dad? Yes, so we have all kinds of sticker dolly dressing books. This really isn't for mom and dad, but I guess you could if you wanted to. This one is a Greek myth, and just to kind of give you a really good idea of all the different types we have, this one has even like a little synopsis of each of the Greek myths on each page, and then you can go to the middle and find the clothes that's appropriate per story, and then you just go on and you can put the stickers on the people in the book. Cool? Yeah, you guys. Do kids love stickers? Yeah! Do all kids love stickers? Yeah! They love stickers. They always love stickers because they love stickers and how they, and how they, and how they, how they color all and how they stick. <laughs> Shine a light books. We Shine love Shine a light books. So we have a few of these in the series right now and basically every time you turn a page you shine a light behind it and there are hidden images on each one and the girls actually really love this one at bedtime so every time you read then you shine a light behind it and there's hidden pictures on every single time every every page lift the flat books these are really awesome books this is the lift the flat picture atlas uh, that we really love and every time you turn the page, there's just tons and tons of flaps that you can lift and get information um, on each of the different continents. And I mean, there are tons of flaps and tons of information on these pages, but so many good illustrations too. And, um, and info down at the bottom for each one. So really cool. Kids love going through and lifting the flaps. And there is even a poster in the very back of the whole world um, that you could take out and display. I just. I just perfectly love that one. So awesome. Little flat bodies. questions and answers about your body. This one the girls really find fascinating. As you can see, these have been listed many, many times. Uh, when, where do doctors go when they're sick? Let's see, where's my heart? How does food turn into poop? And let's face it, all kids love talking about poop. Right? Yes, poop. Why do people wear glasses? And for my little ginger family, what are freckles? It's another one of our little favorite ones. So we have a ton of lift the flat books and all kinds of different topics, but this one is a favorite. And then we have this one, the starting school pack. We have a ton of white clean activities, but this one is great. This one just started kindergarten recently. So there's telling the time, first words, so a lot of sight words for them to trace and then start drawing on their own. First math, addition and subtraction, starting times tables. Cute little activity pack that could go uh, as a great little Christmas present, but also help them learn at the same time. And our last one for today, this is the Wind Up Bus. A very, very fun book. It has a double-decker bus in it, and it has a track on every single page. So you wind it up, and this one actually tours through London. And you put it on the track, and you just watch it go around. And there's little parts that you can read along the way. 
and you can actually pop out pieces of the page on every one and they go together as a puzzle and make a giant track on the floor and it all works together. So this one is pretty awesome. Our favorite! <laughs> so I hope you love the books. We love our books. Um, we I'm love excited. all of the books. <laughs> and we are excited for Christmas and more books for Christmas. <laughs> what do you think? Good books? <laughs> Say Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Bye! Merry Christmas. Bye.